All right, we're live. We already have two people in the room. That's exciting. Hi, everybody. Yeah, make sure you uh, say hi in the comments so that we know that you're here. So we'll hang out for a little bit, wait for some people to hop on. But what we're going to do tonight is just kind of debrief our most recent trip that we went on, just kind of tell you the things that we loved and maybe some of the things we would have done differently, um, just some of the experiences we had. And then we have a big announcement as well. We're having a one-year vlog anniversary giveaway. So that's exciting. We'll tell you more details on that. Um, hi, Paul and Stacy are on. We just watched them on their channel. If you guys don't already follow the Disney Romantics, definitely go check them out. Um, I'm going to join your Facebook group too that you have Stacy that sounds really fun it sounds like an interesting mm -hmm. group so we've um we've definitely thought about starting a Facebook group but we weren't really sure oh my mom and dad are on hi it's hi. us <laughs> hi it's us Aww. yeah I definitely want to join so what was the name of it again I have it pulled up but I can't remember now um if you want to type that in the comments then I'll definitely I'll tell everybody to go over there and join it too. But they have a really fun channel. They do a lot of good stuff. And they did a vow renewal at Disney, which is super fun. And I think they're going to do a video on that coming up. At least I'm hoping they will. Disney, <laughs> the Disney Mooners. Disney Mooners. Okay. We'll go check them out. Oh, your mom's on. Mom's on. Hi, Mom. <laughs> your box came today. Yes. Yes. So we're super excited about that. That'll be another live video that we have coming up. Um, we've been collecting all of the um, Toy Story toys from McDonald's. We're going to try to put that together live. That mm -hmm. sounds dangerous. So, <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to, we have a full set of all editing. 10 toys and we're going to do a giveaway on that. And then we also have another fun um, set of Toy Story things that my mom acquired for us while we were on our vacation. So we'll unbox those and do that. So we've got, mm -hmm. got another fun live planned for that. I'm just going to show like this. Disney romantics. I, I loved your joke. I think it was about the Rolling Stones oh. uh, on your live. <laughs> I was chuckling in the background. Paul, I think you and Mark would uh, hit it off really well. I think you guys That'd be great one. <laughs> could I like have a reference. lot of uh, corny joke time together. Mark has a lot of um, Markisms in our vlog. <laughs> I always have to laugh. I'm like, oh my goodness. Did she just say that? Uh, Maybe that would be a special vlog sometime, just Markisms. Yeah, I think yeah. send Mark and Paul into the parks for a day. And oh, that'd that be fun. Be, that could be pretty classic. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> I see Molly has joined us, our yeah. fellow traveler. Yes. So Molly, my niece, came with us on this recent trip, and then her good friend Ari came as well. So mm -hmm. we had two tween teen mm -hmm. girls so 13 14 and uh one almost three-year-old so we a had three major three major and two teenagers yeah so it was it was um an experience mm -hmm. for sure but it yeah. was a lot of fun the girls did so good helping with wally and he just adored them he those he'd wake up every morning molly ari molly ari so yeah. he had a lot of fun with them so that was really Really fun and really special to get to have them along and just get to experience Disney with with the whole spectrum. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Well, we will um, we'll jump in and get started here. I got a nice sunburn today, <laughs> and it's like the dumbest tan line because of this shirt. But I made it an entire week in Florida and didn't get a sunburn. And then I came home one day in Colorado and I get sunburned. So. And to the question, yes, Wally is sleeping. Wally is napping. As us. well as we'll, we'll defer to yeah. Bagheera. She is also napping. Biggie is also napping. <laughs> she just can't be bothered. She, she cannot be bothered by this. Yeah. Um, so we're going to also open up all the fun souvenirs that we got when we were there. So one of the things I bought before we went on the trip was these years. They actually had these at Walmart this year. So they were, I think, $5. So I got a pair for myself and my niece and... Um, Ari so that we all had them so for $15 mm -hmm. we had three sets of patriotic Mickey ears and I think that they're regularly like 18 or 19 uh, I think they're like closer to 30 oh really in the park so basically nice. we got three sets of ears so we could all have the patriot got patriotic ears for half the price so the one complaint I have about them is that they do not 
really stay on your head as well as the official Disney ears. Um, so we didn't end up wearing them all day just because they kept falling off. But um, they're more comfortable, I guess, because they don't smash your head together. I don't know if anybody yeah, else has off. experienced the pain of the Disney ears. I always call it an earache because it just like digs into your head with that headband all day. So these do not do that, but they also do not stay on your head as well. So, but they're cute and they accomplished the goal of having a patriotic mini ear and they were like a quarter of the cost. So uh, that was definitely fun to have along. So we actually stayed at the beach club on this trip. So that was really fun. Um, it's one, Mark and I have stayed there before we stayed. Oh gosh, it's probably like five years ago. I think it was yeah. about five years ago when we did the wine and dine half marathon. We'd stayed there before. So it was really fun to stay there again. And when we'd gone, it was in November. So it wasn't as warm. So we didn't really use the pool. I think we did the pool maybe like once or twice when we were there the yeah, first maybe, time. But yeah. this time we went to the pool every single day. So it definitely hands down is absolutely the best pool on property. It was fantastic. The girls loved it. They would swim until 11 o'clock at night, pretty much every night. Um, Molly did never do the water slide, but Ari did. So our upcoming video that'll post on Saturday morning, um, we'll have our first day of beach club and arriving and checking in. You'll get to see what the rooms are like. Um, and we did a lot of pool time that day. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one of the biggest tips I would give. We've done Disney so much now. Um, I think we've done it, oh gosh, I think it, maybe like 10 times in the last two and a half years. Mm -hmm. um, we've had annual passes, so we've just been doing it a bunch. Um, so I think in that time, we've kind of come to be able to take our time a little bit more when we go to Disney. And I think that's one of the biggest tips I would give is just that first day, really, really take your time and enjoy the resort. So that's something we've started doing just probably within the last year. Mm -hmm. I think we always have felt that urge to like get there and get into the parks and it's hard not to go into the parks, but I think we've just found so much joy in checking in and really fully taking advantage of the resort that we're at. So if you're staying at any of the Disney resorts, taking that first day to just arrive and relax and go to the pool and um, get situated in your room. We, this time we ate dinner at Cape May. So that was really fun. We took advantage of one of the great restaurants with, that was right there on property. Um, and then I also brought along some fun things to decorate our room with. So if you ever travel to Disney over one of the holidays, um, a lot of people you'll notice put up decorations in their windows and really doesn't matter which resort you stay at. They all have some kind of a window. Um, so we actually brought some of those like little sticky window clings and I brought like some pennant banners for the 4th of July. So we got to decorate that. And that was really fun because our room faced out on the walking path that went to the DVC villas. So um, that was really fun just to actually take the mm -hmm. time to decorate our room and just kind of relax and take that in. Um, definitely see what restaurants are at the resort that you're staying at. If you're staying at a value resort, they're not going to have, um, a table service restaurant. I don't think any of the value resorts have a table service mm -hmm. restaurant, but, um, a lot of the value resorts do have great food courts. So, um, it's just kind of a great option to get in and relax and enjoy that. Or if you're really close to Disney Springs, if you're staying at one of the Disney Springs resorts, maybe hopping on a boat or walking over and taking in some time at Disney Springs, but it's just nice to have a relaxed day. Um, being in Colorado, it's a long flight for us. It's about, four hours each way. Although on the way home, it was closer to five, five and a half on the way home um, because we had so many delays and um, issues with storms. It was and weather, having to yeah. Reroute. Yeah. 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 We got routed over the Gulf of Mexico through the Texas panhandle across New Mexico over the Colorado Rockies back into Denver. Yeah. It was on the kind way of home. a crazy plane ride, but thankfully well, I slept for like two hours. So that was great. Um, but this time we actually took a later flight. We normally take that 6 a.m. flight just because of the time difference um, and it being such a long flight. If we don't get on the 6 a.m. flight out, we're getting in later in the day. But this time we took the 10 a.m. flights. So we got in around 4. Um, so it was actually really great. We got in, got to the resort. Um, 
we had a six o'clock dinner reservation. So the girls and I did dinner at Cape May, which if you haven't done lunch or dinner at Cape May, it is fantastic. I would highly recommend it. If you like seafood. If you like seafood. So Mark didn't join us because he was not a seafood fan. He actually yeah. walked over into Epcot with Wally and had a fun little daddy Wally date that night. They mm -hmm. went and saw Mickey Mouse and um, ate in Mexico and then came back and met us for some pool time. So it was a really relaxing start to our trip and just lots of fun to enjoy that. Um, so then the next day we did Magic Kingdom. And I guess I should mention too, we did the dining plan on this trip. We haven't done the dining plan in a long time, um, but because I am a Disney travel agent on the side, I thought this would be a great opportunity to really experience that again and just see how that worked because a lot of my clients really love to do the dining plan and have questions about it. Um, so it was super easy. It was great to have all of our food taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, we are not like huge eaters, but we do love to eat when we go to Disney because we know we can have the food yeah. because we have so many allergies it's one of the things we love the most about disney is just that we're taken care of and we can really have lots of unique foods too mm -hmm. not just like the basic things that we can kind of get around home we can really have like exotic dishes and lots of good food so um so we did the dining plan on this trip so the next day we were in magic kingdom um, and that was on the 3rd of July. So if you go down over the 4th of July, I would highly recommend doing Magic Kingdom on the 3rd and then do Epcot on the 4th because Magic Kingdom does their um, 4th of July fireworks on the 3rd and the 4th and the crowds are a little bit lighter on the 3rd. And then you can get in Epcot on the 4th because they only do it on the 4th. So we did Magic Kingdom on the 3rd. Um, oh, that's awesome. Stacy's also a Disney travel agent. That's really cool, Stacy. I didn't know that. Well, that's super fun. We definitely have a lot in common. We have to get together with you guys sometime. Now with you guys moving down, hopefully that'll that'll, that'll be easier anyways. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited yeah. for you guys. Um, so yeah, so we did Magic Kingdom. The thing I would suggest, because we had two teens with us and Ari had never been this was the first visit for her um, we really wanted to pack as much in which is for us not typically how we travel anymore just because we've done it so much that we don't feel that urge to like cram it all in and do all the rides and do all of that so um, we did get up pretty early and got into Magic Kingdom um, in retrospect I would have probably not done that because the third is not as busy it, it's not going to hit capacity um, I wish we had just kind of chilled out at our resort a little bit longer that day because it was so hot. Yeah. Um, if you're going down in the summer, you just have to prepare for that. It is it is hot, but it's easy to manage if you kind of divide up your days. I think it's definitely yeah. really helpful to stay on property in the summer because you can come back to the resort and relax in the heat of the day and then go back. Um, so we probably should have not got into the Magic Kingdom right away. We got a lot in mm -hmm. that day. We packed a lot in, but um, it would have been nice to, yeah. to sleep in a little bit. Well, especially with the fact that the park was open until 2 a.m. Yeah. So, you know, we didn't need to get there at 9. No. Because we had that extra two hours at the end of the day when right. it was only resort guests. And yep. had we thought more clearly about that, waiting until noon, yeah. you know, yes, you're starting at the heat of the day, but you've also got so much more time at the end mm -hmm. of the day when lines are going to be lower and there is no sun up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. much cooler. And we actually, um, we actually ended up rope dropping, um, <laughs> the Tomorrowland Speedway. So yeah, <laughs> um, we had fast passes to do seven dwarfs and we just decided that we didn't want to like push to get there and we got there mm -hmm. We got into the park. It was probably like 9.15. 9 yeah. 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 So we just decided, let's go do Tomorrowland Speedway because Wally, that's one of his favorite rides right now. He was super excited to do it. So It was down last time we went. It was down the last time we were there. So we went and did that. Yes. Molly is giving the details. We walked 8.46 miles that day, 20,000 steps, and it felt like it was 105 degrees. So yeah. yes, it was a very, very hot, very, very humid yeah. day. Um, we did take a break in the middle of the afternoon. We actually hopped over to um, the monorail resort. So we hopped on the monorail. We went, hung out in the Polynesian. We went to Trader Sam's for a little bit. We got there right at open, um, but we were just, right just after right open. just so after the whole place open. Had filled up yeah, so there was you. no place to sit. Yeah. So the girls and I hung out in there for a little bit, so they could kind of see all the 
fun stuff that goes on in there. And then um, we grabbed a drink and just went and sat up in Tambu Lounge actually and hung out there um, and just kind of cooled down for a little bit. And then we went and spent a little bit of time in the Grand Floridian. And then we made our way back over into the park for our Seven Dwarfs Fast Passes that we had later in the day. So um, that's probably the biggest piece of advice I'd give if you're doing the 4th of July in the parks is just don't push it. Especially in the summer. Early. Yeah. Especially in the summer, anytime there's heat and humidity in Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then that night we had the dessert party, which was super fun because we had the reserved area to watch the fireworks. So that was actually really nice. I would highly recommend that if you're in the parks for um, special holiday fireworks. Um, this time we did the garden viewing before we had done the Tomorrowland Terrace where you actually get to sit. Mm -hmm. Both are fantastic. Um, so you don't see the fireworks over Seven Seas Lagoon. You, you just catch the very top of them, mm -hmm. but you kind of miss that whole you know, Disney's launching a bunch of fireworks from all over the Magic Kingdom area. Mm -hmm. You really don't get that sense when you're in the park. In but the park, yeah. when they surround the the hub with fireworks, mm -hmm. that's really cool. Yeah, it was um, really neat. Um, we had gone down last year for the 4th of July for the first time and just decided to go back because it was just so much fun. Mm -hmm. So, And it is kind of a nice time to visit because the crowds are a little bit lighter. I know it sounds weird, but I think it's so hot down there in the summer. So it's actually kind of a lighter time. To visit it does get very busy and very crowded at fireworks time and that's why it was really nice to do the dessert party because we didn't feel that pressure and sense of like having to go stand for hours and hold a spot for the fireworks so um fourth mm -hmm. of july third of july in magic kingdom don't go in super early book a dessert party if you can make that work um, those are probably the two biggest pointers I would give. Um, Wally actually got to ride the Seven Dwarfs Mine Coaster for the first time. So that was really fun. Um, I rode it first just because I needed to, like, as a mom, Your mama I needed, berries. <laughs> Your mama I needed to ride it going. and, like, put myself in his shoes and think, okay, is this too scary for him? And um, after I went on it again, I was like, no, no, he can totally do this. So then he hopped on, on with us and, and went through. So, yeah. So that was really fun that he got to do the Seven Dwarfs Mine Coaster on this trip. Um, he's so tall for his age. He's not even three yet, and he's already tall enough to do two big coasters in Disney. So that was really fun. Um, the next day we did Epcot, and that was on the 4th of July. And we did um, we slept in that day and just took our time getting into the park because Epcot's so big. I don't, I'm pretty sure Epcot has never reached capacity. Even on New Year's Eve, I don't yeah. think it has ever hit capacity. It gets pretty busy on New Year's Eve, but I don't think it's ever actually closed because it's hit full capacity. So we knew that wasn't going to be a problem. Um, so we went into the park a little bit later, and that was really nice. Um, it just didn't feel like a, a crazy day. And mm -hmm. I think with two teenage girls, there's not as many like thrill attractions. We really didn't get to do anything in the world showcase no. other than a very quick walk through in the morning. Um, on our way to lunch, we had a lunch reservation at Akershus. So that was super fun. If you haven't ever done Akershus and you love the Disney princesses, I would highly recommend it. Yep. Um, food wise, it definitely wasn't my favorite meal. Mark loved it. Everything loved it. was very like pickled and vinegary. Mm -hmm. And I actually really loved my entree. I did the taste of Norway. Um, so I had the sausage and the mashed potatoes, um, meatballs with the lingonberry and the sauce too. and salmon. And it yeah. was really, all of that was really good. So my entree was delicious. Um, the little like salad bar that they have was just kind of not my taste, which is weird because I love like olives and pickles and things, but it just was like too vinegary. So I bet my mom would probably really love it. Yeah. Um, but it was really great. The princess meet and greets were super fun. Wally actually really loved that. So even if you have a little boy, um, don't rule out those princess meals. I think that they, um, they're really sweet with, with little boys. Too. When you've always commented working with clients, getting reservations there is, is pretty easy. It's easier than yeah. like Cinderella's table for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think the experience was, I, I think it was great. Oh yeah. 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 And they have a kid's menu. Like the girls got pizzas, so mm -hmm. they definitely have kid-friendly food. So your kids aren't going to be like, oh, this is weird food. Um, but it just, it felt so much less chaotic mm -hmm. as far as like a princess dining goes. I think sometimes the more popular ones, it's just, there's so many people in there and it's kind of rushed and noisy. And so 
this did not feel that way at all. No. It was just really, really nice. So we actually had a fast pass for Frozen. We rode Frozen ever after, and then we um, went into lunch, and it was great. So, um, oh, Heather's on. Yay. Hey, Heather. And I agree, yes, Acker Shoes is way better than Cinderella's Royal yeah. Table. Um, well, I, I mean, on the dining plan, again, isn't Royal Table two credits? Uh, I can't remember. I cannot remember now. I th I'm pretty sure Royal Table is too. Yeah. Heather can correct me if I'm wrong. She would know for sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. I'm pretty sure that one is too. Yeah. And it's not really worth it in my opinion. We've done Cinderella's Royal Table. And again, the food, food and the food at Cinderella's Royal Table isn't great either um, for what you're paying for a two table service credit. So, um, so Akershus was great. And we just had a really relaxing day in Epcot. And then we actually ended up, we had dinner at um, La, Hacienda La Hacienda in Mexico which has a great view of illuminations. So they will not do fireworks viewing tables. They won't guarantee it. Um, but we were kind of a pain in the butt about it. We got there early for our reservation. We asked, they were like, we can't, we can't, we can't. Um, and then when they went to go seat us, we see all these empty tables by the window. And we're I like, was like, um, is it possible to sit here, here, here? And so then they walked us back up the front and talked and talked. And then they went and took us and, our waiter there was fantastic. fantastic. He was so yeah. amazing. We had a great view of the fireworks from our table. Um, but I would not recommend doing that for the special holiday fireworks shows. And here's why. They do pump the music in for illuminations, mm -hmm. but they do not pump in the special music. So because the 4th of July show has a special ending on illuminations, we didn't get any of that music. Um, so that was kind of a little sad for me. Yeah. Um, it's also not as impressive. Uh, yeah. Because when you're inside a building watching fireworks, you don't get that loud yeah. boom. Um, you also, it was also really difficult to see the fireworks they shoot over the America Pavilion. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of had to, you know, kind of veer off, look off to the side um, yeah. a little bit. So that's the... Um, it, it was, it's still impressive. Yeah, like Molly and Ari loved it. They thought it was fantastic. They don't know any different. Um, and, and, and I think that's a, and that's a huge, like, that's, that's a huge clue in too, yeah. is that we've experienced these things so many times. We know the levels of different, but mm -hmm. Molly, you're exactly right. It it was still impressive. Yeah. You know. It was, and it was great. It was nice to be able to sit and our food was fantastic yeah. um, because we had the dining plan. We got dessert, which is not something we've ever done there before. And... Um, all of their desserts were so good. That was actually the girl's favorite dessert of the entire trip. They loved it. I mean, they brought out that molten chocolate lava cake and I don't even actually think I saw it. I think they <laughs> ate it before yeah, I they inhaled it. saw it. So, um, so yeah, so that was great. Um, it was, it was a nice, nice day, very relaxed day. And it was nice to have that mid trip. And I think that these are other things that were, learning just having traveled so much there in the last two years and having gone with so many different combinations of people now um it is really really nice to um have like a busy first day and then kind of a relaxed second day so even if you did a resort day or disney springs day or you did a park day like if you had a five day park pass and you did a lighter park day on that day um it's a great great way to not like lose all your steam right mm -hmm. up front so that was Epcot on the 4th of July. And Francisco was our server. Francisco, yeah. yeah. He was fantastic. Amazing. So if you eat at La Hacienda, which we would highly recommend because it's one of our favorite, favorite, mm -hmm. favorite spots to eat, um, ask for Francisco. He was fantastic. Yeah. Just like super friendly, like just went above and beyond. Um, because Mark has so many allergies, I asked if we could swap out an appetizer for a dessert on the dining plan because I knew he wasn't going to be able to eat any of the desserts and he gets a little tired of just eating their like good life sugar good life cookies. Sugar cookies. Um, he was like, don't even worry about it. He brought us an order of guacamole and didn't even charge us for it. So that was really nice. Um, but yeah, it was just, yeah. it was really good. So that was the fourth. Um, Fifth. The fifth we did Animal Kingdom and that day we kind of did a similar thing where we did go into the park pretty close to opening um, and we had a couple fast passes. We did Everest, we did all those sorts of things um, and then 
we went back to the resort and enjoyed some pool time. So Mark and Wally and the girls spent some time in the pool and I actually took that time to do a full tour of the pool area. And then I walked over to Epcot and got myself a macaroon ice cream sandwich. So we'll have that video as well, just so you can kind of see what that looks like, um, what the beach club pool is all about, what that really looks like, the full experience, um, and then what that looks like to really be able to walk in through that international gateway. So we'll have a whole video on that. Um, so that was a great way to just kind of relax and for them cool down in the mm -hmm. afternoon. It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily a cool down for me because I did, um, a lot of walking, um, in the heat of the day In the heat of the day, but it was still really pleasant. And it's, I love, I love being that close and just being able to hop over into France and grab an ice cream and come back. Yeah. Um, so that was really relaxing. And then we went back at animal kingdom for the evening. And Molly chime in what you thought of that pool. I mean, you and Ari spent a lot of time there and I, it yeah. seemed to us like you had fun, but yeah. Um, um so Animal Kingdom in the evening, we had um, fast passes to do Flight of Passage, and we were lucky enough that we could take advantage of the rider swap. So um, the girls got to ride Flight of Passage twice, which was really great. Um, so we did Avatar, got to see it in day, got to see it in night. That was really great. And then we had a, um, we had done, so for lunch, we actually did Tusker House mm -hmm. before we went back to the resort and we did that on the dining plan. We did the Rivers of Light package, um, which anytime you can do the special dining packages. So there's one in um, Hollywood Studios for Fantasmic. There's one in uh, Animal Kingdom for Rivers of Light. I think that's it. I think it's just those two, um, but those are great options. I think there's a Lion King one too in Animal Kingdom, um, but that's a great way to use your dining credit because those are just a little bit more expensive and then you get that reserved seating to return back and, and uh, watch the show. I wouldn't pay for the Rivers of Light. I wouldn't package. pay for it. No. Don't, don't pay for it. But if you have a dining plan, it's definitely yeah. worth it. And Tusker House is really great. Again, mm -hmm. character interactions are awesome there. Um, it has all of the the big characters. Um, I don't think Mickey's there, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't remember. Was Mickey there? I think so. I can never remember. Sometimes they blend together. Um, <laughs> but Donald and Daisy and Goofy. And Goofy. I don't think Benny and Mickey are there, though. I think it's just Donald. Yeah, it's Mickey. Oh, yeah, and Mickey. Yep. Okay, so there's no Minnie. There's no Minnie. There's no Minnie. But, yes, Donald, mm -hmm. Daisy, Goofy, and Mickey. So that's a great um, – yes, Heather's got it. So <laughs> that's a great one for lunch, and the buffet is really good. Um, it's definitely kind of a different cuisine. So, again um, – again, if you have picky eaters that maybe don't like that kind of different food – um, it might not be their favorite spot for food, but the character meet and greets were great. And then we had the reserve seating for Rivers of Light. So we actually had a Twilight Safari time booked. We had the, I think it was 8.30. 7.30 to 8.30. 830 yeah. Um, but we didn't end up getting over there until 8.30. The intent was to get there closer to 7.38 so that we were there right at kind of that twilight dusk hour. Um, and we didn't end up getting there until 8.30. So it was actually after dark. So um, sometimes you can have really, really good nighttime safaris. We did not have a good nighttime safari. You know, after um, dark, you can't see anything. But if you, if you do that dusk hour, that's yeah. the, those are honestly the best safaris I've ever had. And that was the yeah. intent, but it just didn't happen with two, two teens and a three-year-old. It just didn't happen. So <laughs> best of intentions, but we didn't make yeah. it over there. Um, so that was kind of a, a Disney fail for the day, but we still had a great time. And then we actually had reservations for the first Rivers of Light show, didn't make it, and went over to the last Rivers of Light show, and they didn't even bat an eye at it. And I think there, there was, was us and maybe like five other people. Oh, there was in hardly the, anybody in, in the, there. In so the reserved you dining really don't section. need the reserved dining section, although I will say that like that angle was really... It was really, cool to watch it from yeah, that angle. It so, was nice over there. Rivers of Light's broken in two sections, one by Everest in that kind of area, and then the other one over by the Nemo uh, side. And I would actually say I liked watching it over on the other side. Mm -hmm. It was much less chaotic. It was, yeah. They still rearrange your strollers. Oh, my gosh. We've had the worst luck with strollers going to Rivers of Light. I cannot even tell you. One time I left <laughs> my phone in it. So Mark had to leave the show and go get it because I was, like, full-out panicking because I'm like, oh, my gosh, my, like, 
iPhone 10 is sitting in the back of our stroller right now. So he had to go do that and he couldn't find it. And then, oh my gosh. But anyway, just be, be prepared that stroller parking for the Rivers of Light show is a little crazy. It's It's nuts. And, and even if you leave it in the appropriate parking area, they will still move they it move to where it they want to put it. So. And they will not leave it where you leave it. Yes. So anyway, we've had a lot of stroller adventures yeah. in Disney, including one time it being taken in Magic Kingdom. And uh, not taken, it was cleared. It was cleared. It was cleared from the park. So we yes. had left it in one area of the park. We left it over by Haunted Mansion. Yep. Mark had gone to the bathroom with Wally. And in the meantime, that area of the park was cleared yes. before we could get back to it. And they took it to the front. Yeah. And so <laughs> like an hour later, we finally got our stroller back. Yeah. So. However, next time I'm going to do that same thing and strap a GoPro to it and get some video in the Utilidors. <laughs> there you go. Um, so there's a pro tip for you. Pro tip. If you want a secret tour of the Utilidors. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that was the Tusker House, or not Tusker House, but um, oh my gosh. I Rivers of Light? Rivers of Light yeah. show. Sorry. <laughs> So that was our Animal Kingdom day. Um, and then the next day, I actually took the girls over to Universal. So that was that was fun. Um, Mark stayed with Wally at the parks, and I just headed over to Universal with the girls. We just got a lift. Um, it was super easy to it's do. Like 15, 18 bucks for the way I think over. it was like, yeah, about, um, I think it was about 18 on the way over in the yeah. morning. And then it was more expensive on the way back. We ended up coming back around like 5 o'clock. Um, yeah. It poured that day um, which we knew it was going to rain so we were prepared for it i actually have um oh you should pull it up on amazon i found these really really cool um rain shoe covers that were fantastic like every single person in the park was like where did you get those where did you get those where did you get those because it was like torrential and i decided to wear tennis shoes that day just because i knew we were going to be walking around a lot um so i didn't wear my flip-flops that day um, but I had these awesome shoe covers for the rain and was able to wear those and it was really great. So, um, so we went over to Universal. We tried to get there at Rope Drop. It did not happen. Um, just best <laughs> intentions got awry. We didn't quite make it, but we got into the park about 15 minutes after it had opened. And honestly, now with the new Hagrid's coaster and Universal, the rest of the park was dead so for the first hour of the park we wa we hopped on um the escape from Grigots ride back to back twice no wait um and then we hopped on hogwarts express no wait to get on there went over to the other side of the parks um and did the hogwarts ride we did have about a 25 minute wait to get on the hogwarts ride but it really wasn't that bad just because that queue is fantastic so um, molly would disagree for some reason she thought that line was miserable to stand in but that's one of my favorite lines to stand in in all of the parks just because you get to see so much and um, experience so much of the harry potter magic so um shoes uh, this isn't the exact same one but you know so now i need to worry about the name but yeah they're yeah. just like you know modern Go day modern history. day galoshes Oh, then I got a dig. Um, but yeah, so we did we did all the Harry Potter stuff, and we got all that in before the rain hit. The girls were going to ride the Hulk, but then they um, backed out. They said it was because it was too hot, but I kind of think they just got a little scared and didn't want to ride the Hulk. So yeah. here are the exact. It, it, it was those ones I just had loaded yeah. up. I those just had a different seller on it. So. It's funny because the packaging on them says that they're stylish like 10 times. I would argue <laughs> that they're not. They're not stylish. Really stylish. <laughs> but, but they kept my feet dry. So it was. And everyone else was jealous. Yes. Those are the two wins. Yes. So um, that would be a big suggestion I would give for rain gear is definitely getting a pair of those. Um, so yeah. So we accomplished all the Harry Potter stuff and it was a super rainy day. Um so we we ended up coming back around five o'clock and um what did we do that night? Did we do the pool? I can't remember what we did on our universal day. Uh you went over to boardwalk and got pizzas. Oh yeah, we walked over and got pizzas on the boardwalk and that was really, really nice. Um again, it's so, such a great location because you can just walk over and the pizza spot there serves until midnight. They can do gluten free pizzas. So we had 
pizzas on the boardwalk. Um, and that's the other thing I would say with the dining plane is that the quick service credits definitely use the fact that you can get an alcoholic beverage as your drink with a quick service meal. It's the only way you're going to make your money back on that. Yeah. So, um, so we enjoyed some pizzas and some sangria. And then we walked over to Ample, Hill, Ample Hills Creamery, which had been on my Disney bucket list for a long time, which is right there on the boardwalk. And they take snack credits as well, which is a fantastic deal. Um, and got to try some of their really yummy ice cream and that counted as a snack credit. So, um, so we did that that day and then Sunday we decided not going to even let me talk about what we oh, did. Yes. Mark actually yeah. did. He did a three park, did a three park with mm -hmm. Wally. So I kind of set out saying, you know what? I'm going to let Wally kind of dictate the day. I mean, yeah, as much as a three year old can or almost three year old. Mm -hmm. Um, so kind of set out, you know, saying, Hey, well, you get to dictate the day. And, uh, we started out, uh, I believe at Epcot, if mm -hmm. I remember right, and got lunch. And you then, slept in. Yeah, slept in. So had a nice, great, uh, relaxing morning with Wally, which I think he needed at that point. Mm -hmm. Um, went to Epcot, got lunch, um, did something there with him. I can't remember. I can't remember what you did. Went over to Animal Kingdom. Oh, you rode the three caballeros. Right? Oh, like we rode the times. three caballeros, right? Yeah three times. So enjoy that vlog. I recorded every single minute of that ride all three times and you get to watch it. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> um, and then went over to Animal Kingdom because uh, Wally wanted to go to the Nemo show mm -hmm. and we didn't get that done when we were in uh, Animal Kingdom. Um, and then uh, and then went over to uh, Hollywood Studios did the uh, Hollywood and Vine dining package mm -hmm. there, which was great for the two of us. Got seated right by the front door, um, went to the Frozen show, and then uh, did the dining package. So we had uh, reserved seats for Fantasmic. Yeah. Um, and as I already talked about, it was pouring that day, so um, we were in our uh, we were in our galoshes, and I pulled mm -hmm. up um, the video of Wally splashing around in the water. He was having fun. In he the was rain. having a great time. Uh, we also did the uh, uh, Lightning Queen Racing Academy, which is awesome. He loved that um, when we were in Hollywood Studios. So he had a lot of fun. It was yeah. a good Wally Daddy day. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that was the other thing you had pulled up is that we actually, for Universal, another pro tip is that they don't let you have like anything on any of the rides. Um, so they have lockers at all the rides. Um, we had brought a small cooler with us, just like a real small cooler with some um, waters. So we actually had to take all the water out of the cooler and the ice packs just to fit it in the lockers that they have. You said they were like really tiny. They're like really tiny. Um, kind of like if you have like a joint mailbox in your neighborhood or you have like all the mailboxes together, like that is literally how big they are, like a PO box. Um, so we shoved all that in there. We actually had to get, I think, three lockers just to fit all of our stuff in. But one thing we did do is I actually got us all fanny packs before we went. Um, so we found these great fanny packs on Amazon. They're the Waterfly. Um, so they're partially waterproof. Um, and they had really nice compartments in them. And so we were actually able to put our cell phones and things in there while we stood in line for the universal ride. So that was really great because then we could still have our phones on us and um, just kind of be yeah. able to do that. So um, that's another pro tip I would give for universal is have a fanny pack and then either rent a day locker, but they're at the front of the park. And I just yeah. decided if we have water with us, it really didn't make sense to rent a locker because then we wouldn't drink the water that we brought. Um, so we just shoved it into the lockers and then we also did the dining plan that day. And I would highly recommend that quick service dining plan for universal. If you're going there for the day, it was a great value. Um, we had a great lunch in Hogwarts. We got a butter beer for one of our snack credits. And then when we were leaving, we actually stopped at the today cafe, the new today show cafe and got the most delicious coffee I've ever had. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I think it was literally the best cup of coffee I've ever had in my whole life. It was so good. Um, and it was just great because it was cold and rainy. And so we were able to enjoy a coffee on the way um, back to the car and just kind of relax and enjoy that. So definitely the quick service dining plan at Universal is very much worth yeah. it. Um, so that was our Universal day. And then the last day we um, we got up. Oh, Sunday. Sunday, Yeah. yeah our last full day, um, we actually got up and decided to do the water parks. And we 
in retrospect, I think I probably would have just stayed at the resort and enjoyed our pool because we had such a great mm -hmm. pool. Um, but we decided to do the water parks because the girls had the water parks included on their ticket. Um, they had that summer fun and more. Whatever. Yeah, the four, four park, park or pool. the four parks plus the two water parks. Yeah. Um, so we actually decided to go over and do the water park one day. Um, and Mark and I have done both the water parks and we love them. They're both great and they're super fun with a little one because their splash pad areas are great and the lazy river is super fun. And um, we had a good time. Mm -hmm. We, it took forever to get there on the buses. It took forever to get our tickets in line. I mean, no joke. We waited in the line to get our ticket for probably 30 minutes yeah but we had we wanted to get the, the annual, annual pass, pass discount. discount and they don't let you do those in advance for, which is dumb yeah <laughs> there's no other way to describe it that is dumb um, that you cannot buy so annual pass discount it saved us about 25 dollars or 30 dollars i yeah. think on entrance into the it. park so then we went and did the water park and it started raining well when we were in line we knew the forecast was rain and so we knew we were kind of running on a short timeline that day anyway um, but they have a four hour policy on rain so if you buy a park a water park ticket or if you even have it on your park ticket mm -hmm. and you get less than four hours from the time you enter the park which we entered the park at noon mm -hmm. um to when it starts raining they will give you and not just rain when they actually when clear they the rides. when they clear the rides due to weather. So Molly and Ari got to experience this is in a torrential downpour. Mm -hmm. As long as there's no lightning, the rides are still going. So yep. they were still they were torrential downpour. Irene and I were you know having you know lovely snack. Under yeah, we the, were enjoying <laughs> a lovely lunch. <laughs> lovely lunch under the uh, under the, the, the girls the awning, were but the girls were off, actually stranded off, stranded and actually in a pool. Yeah. Enjoying a, a yeah. torrential downpour in the pool. Which it is fun to swim in the rain in Disney. Yeah. Um, but then they did finally shut down the park. Um, and so we went up to the front and they actually give you a, a ticket to come back that is good for one year. One year. Yep. So we figured, you know what, we'll probably be back within the next year at a time when we would want to do the water park. So we got that um, ticket refund. And so we'll, we'll go back mm -hmm. and do the water park another time when we're down there. Um, so... And it wasn't too painful to stand in line on the way out to get it. No. The one thing to keep in mind is that once the weather gets really bad, if the lifeguards are told not to move. They're frozen. They're frozen. They will highly advise you not to move around the park either. Yeah. So if you hit a lull in the storm, but it looks like that weather pattern is going to keep coming through, um, that's the time to leave. Because... Once the park reopens, they will not issue those ticket refunds. Um, so that's good to know. And you also will be highly encouraged not to move. So you're stuck there until the park opens. And then at that point, you wouldn't be able to get, yeah. get the ticket refund. So, yeah. Um, so yeah. So that was our water park day. Mm -hmm. And then we just came back and enjoyed the resort. We had an amazing dinner at Ale and Compass over at the Yacht Club that night. Fantastic food. Awesome service, great atmosphere. The desserts were amazing. It was just very, very relaxing and a mm -hmm. great way to like end our last night. Yeah. Um, and then the next day we got up, we rope dropped Hollywood Studios so that Wally could <laughs> rope drop. Right. <laughs> we were hoping to get there earlier, but we missed we missed that window by about 15 minutes. Um, we got there at nine o'clock. Yeah. And the line, the security line to get in was just I've never seen that many people crazy. trying to get into Hollywood studios. Yeah, it was crazy. So yeah. Uh, but it was fine. We still made it and we had about a 90, 90 minute wait to get on Slinky Dog, which was totally fine. The line actually moved really fast. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah. it wasn't hot yet. I mean, that it time of the too, morning, it's not hot yet. Yeah, it wasn't so too it, the line brutal. was actually bearable. Um, and we had breakfast and just made the best out of it. And then mm -hmm. while I got to ride Slinky Dog, so yep. um, he was like pretty much terrified. But now he talks about it and he says he's a big boy and he rode Slinky Dog and he tells everybody about it. So, <laughs> so it was really fun that he got to ride Slinky Dog. Um, and then... We did Star Tours. You did Rock and Roller Coaster with the girls. He took um, Wally over to see the new Disney Junior live show mm -hmm. and got some great pictures. That's one of our favorite spots to get photos with the characters is right over in that Disney Junior courtyard as you're waiting for the show because the lines are pretty short. It's in the shade. The characters are like just super mm -hmm. friendly and fun and always have a great time with the kids. So it's an awesome photo spot. We've gotten some of the best pictures over there. Um, so yeah, so that was that was our last day, and then we had lunch at Sci-Fi Dine-In, which was also fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, 
our chef. Is it Derek? Derek? Mm. I can't remember now. I no, I'm sure I texted. It. But he was outstanding. He actually had a corn allergy himself, which is not common to hear. Never heard um, of so he made us just the best food and was so, so awesome and friendly. Um, we actually for like just didn't even get dessert that day. We're like, we're too full. Mm -hmm. And we had to go. Our Magical Express was leaving in like an hour and we hadn't <laughs> paid yet. So <laughs> a little bit of a rush to get out of Hollywood Studios, but we made it with three minutes to spare. And I was even able to like run into the gift shop and use our last remaining four snack credits that we had left so that we could bring home some goodies. Um, and we made it and we had plenty of time at the airport. Um, so one like downside to using Magical Express is that you always get to the airport like three hours before your flight yeah. and it's kind of a long wait, but we uh, got some food mm -hmm. and just enjoyed it and then got a really, really long plane ride home. Yeah. So, but everybody did really well on the plane. I think yeah. the girls slept while I slept. Um, it was actually a really pleasant. Even, even other ride. kids on the plane. I was, I was quite impressed that, that yeah. other kids, you know, didn't start. It always seems like the it. flight coming home is a little bit easier, even though it's longer, it's easier because I think everybody's tired. tired so sleeping, a lot of people yeah. sleep. So, yeah. okay. So, um, we wanted to show you guys all the cool things that we got from our trip. Um, Debrief one of the, things. yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the other cool things I got before we went on the trip is I actually purchased some of these off of Etsy and I meant to talk about it in the vlog and just totally forgot. Um, but this is from a creator called, um, change your fate creations. So this is her little card and she's got the, um, bow and arrow because it's like, brave um so these were really really great super cute um nice plastic containers so i decided to get some of these for going through the security checks and it was fantastic these yeah. worked so well they definitely sped up the bag check process just with wally's bag of and simplified it you know less yeah, number of things having to be pulled it out, out and they could see what was yeah. in it it was super easy so um these are super cute and I loved the little pattern that she had. So change your fake creations on Etsy. She has some really, really, really cute stuff. The security staff commented how they appreciated that. Yes. They, they did. And I, and yeah. I think it also made, made them more trusting of us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're obviously their job is to, you know, figure out you know, what people are trying to bring in. And mm -hmm. so if you have something that makes their life easier, yeah, they tend to look favorably upon that. So yeah, they just pull it out. Great. You can go. Yeah. So um, these, these are great, great investment. Definitely mm -hmm. would highly recommend. Do you remember those. how much they were? Um, I got two of these smaller size ones and one bigger one. And I think it was like $50 total. I can't remember. You could pull up Etsy on my phone okay. and look at that. So that was one thing we brought with us that was great on this trip. And then these were some of the souvenirs we got. So we always get glow cubes. <laughs> um, so these are super fun. They come in a lot of the different drinks on property. 53. $53, yeah. So um, these are really great and they're super fun. And what we've actually done with them is that Wally gets to take a party tub. So we put it on the rotating color. I think I already went past no, it. No, that's at the end. Or you can just hit there it. we go. So you put it on the rotating color light, um, and then he gets to take a tubby one we're there, a bathtub um, with the party cube. So we turn the lights off, and then he goes, ooh, 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 and we do a party tub. So mm -hmm. these are actually one of our favorite souvenirs to bring back from Disney. They're just really fun. And they put them in some of the kids' drinks and then also the adult in drinks. Um, alcoholic beverages. So these are mm -hmm. a fun little souvenir to bring home. Party tub, mm -hmm. yes. Yep. So it's really funny because Wally, he'll be three at the end of August, and he like he totally knows like party. So like if there's ever like a DJ or like disco or something, he'll be like ooh ooh ooh. ooh. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's funny. It's because of party tubs with the party cubes. So um, so our last day in Hollywood Studios, Wally got to pick this guy out. So it's the little slinky dog, um, little car. And then it has the little launcher and it actually whoo, launches. Um, so this was his souvenir for getting, being a big brave boy and riding Slinky Dog Coaster. Um, so that was really fun. This was $20. He actually goes, hang out and he pushes the yeah, button. Yeah, it's so funny. So he, he, loved, he loved it. Yeah. 
He maybe didn't love it at the time. <laughs> I'm sure when you see that video, he looks pretty terrified. But he loves the fact that he did it and he's yeah. a big boy. And now he talks about Slink Dog all the time. And then he told me, he goes, one more time next time. Like, I'm not doing it again right now, but I will do it next time. Yeah. So, so this was one of the little souvenirs that we got. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and then this was our Magic Kingdom day. Um, so Wally has been potty training. So that was a big deal on this trip, too, that we went with a potty training toddler. And he did so Good. We were there for seven days, six nights. He only had two accidents, um, one of which really kind of wasn't an accident. Um, the other time was really our fault. We were at the water parks, and by the time we got to the bus, he decided he needed to go potty, and there just wasn't an option for that. Mm -hmm. So, um, But he had on a swim diaper. Thankfully, so, I had a swim diaper yeah, on for that So one, it really so. wasn't a big deal, but he did so good. So we let him get little potty prizes if he had a good day. Um so this was another one he had picked out after we rode the pirates ride. Um, so it's actually a little cannon. You can pull this guy I'm back. Scared. This is going to be really loud and Biggie's Watch not going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> Biggie, did that scare you? Uh, I don't know where that ball went. I don't know. It's somewhere at, over there. But it comes with three of these little Biggie cannonballs. She's gone. There She's she goes. Like, I'm out of here. See you later, Biggie. So that was his cannon. And then another potty prize that he had picked out was this monorail launcher. Um, so he's got a bunch of these, the Star Wars racer cars that he got on our last trip. So he loves the monorail. He's obsessed with all things monorail. So this one was really fun. Um, and this one also does a launch. So, um, so he got that little monorail toy. And I think that one was like eight bucks. I think so. I think the cannon was... 20 yeah i think it was 20 um but with dvc little... discounts so probably closer to 16 yeah i think we paid about like yeah. 17 for most yeah. of those so um that, was that stuff um i think that was everything that wally got on the trip um this was something i picked out for myself um i love this so much so this is 20 dollars um it's this little zippable um little tote bag and you can actually um zip it up let's see if i can do it here <laughs> the pressure of knife um maybe let's see i might have to take the oh is it yeah uh... let me take the stuffing out from the inside i think that'll make it a little bit easier but and I... you have to collapse it in on itself like is there a, hang on is there a little you can pull it up now. Oh. Mark's trying to troubleshoot it. Not my cup of tea. No. Ah. Uh, yeah. So, and then I think this guy goes in there. in there. There you go. Anyway, let's see if I can get it to zip all the way around. It's not the easiest bag to do, <laughs> but um, it zips up with the portraits and then it looks like when you're in the stretching room on the haunted mansion and the portraits open up. Yes, Heather, probably not that practical. It's not practical at all, but I just thought it was the cutest thing. And you love the haunted mansion. I love the haunted mansion. So, so yes, Molly's big souvenir was she got a Donald duck necklace. She loves Donald duck. So she was super excited about that. And she got a really great picture with Donald duck. So that was the souvenir I got for myself. Um, let's see, I got a couple other things in here for one of our other viewers. We're doing a box swap. So I'm Molly's sure picture with Donald. Duck. Yeah, there's Molly's picture with Donald. Duck. Make sure I don't accidentally show you this. Um, we got this pin for Wally because the last time we were there and we did the Lightning McQueen Racing Academy, they didn't have any Lightning McQueen pins. So I was super excited to get this one for him. We totally meant to get him a Seven Dwarfs Mine Coaster pin as well. And didn't think about it we'll until it after we were out in the Magic Kingdom. So when we go back down in August, we're going to pick one of those up for him. But I loved this Lightning McQueen pin. We have just kind of started getting into doing pins with Wally. Um, just because it's not something either of us ever did. So we've been creating a pin collection for him. So we've got a couple of these we'll actually open up here. 
live on screen. So then this was things that I picked up on the last day to use up snack credits. So we got a couple of these while I was super excited to get a rainbow crispy. And then he also had a chocolate crispy. And these ones are really, really fun because they actually have like the rainbow, like, um, what are those things? What are the, like the tutti fruity ones, but they're called fruity pebbles, I think. So it's got like the fruity pebbles in it and then the rainbow sprinkles. They've got all the um, pride stuff out in the parks right now. So this is actually a pride um, uh, Rice Krispie bar, but it was rainbow. So while I was super mm -hmm. excited about the rainbow, um, so we got one of those and we got a couple more Rice Krispies. That was like the last minute. Oh my gosh, I have to use these snack credits. Well, you... You went into one store thinking you had two snack I thought I had two left. left. Like, no, you have six. And then she's like, oh, you have six. I was like, no, no, I have two. She's like, no, you have six. I'm like, no, no, two. She's like, no, six. So I had to go get four more snacks. Really left. Um, so then these were a great use of the snack credit, too, this Goofy Candy Company. Um, I don't know why they were all stuck up in there. Because they all so got wet. I got um, some of the cinnamon candies, the Anger. Those are really fun. Um, I got some of the unicorn pops. So Wally's super excited about those. And then they had these blue raspberry jellies. And then they had the goofy candy um, that are actually the little Mickey and Minnie heads. So those are really fun. So that is a great use of the snack credit if you have to burn some of those up. And if you're, if you're looking for souvenirs or gifts for people mm -hmm. back home. Yeah, I got my dad some licorice, which he loved. Um, so that was all the candy that we got. So then other things that we got, these are super cute. So we're actually gonna open these up right now. So they have these things in the parks, so they're called Wishables. And they had a bunch of different ones. So this is actually um, Pirates of the Caribbean. So it's a little, the, the little doggy the with the key. So we got that one. So this one you could just buy. And then the rest of the Wishables are in, um, these mystery bags so we got one mystery one um and it has either captain jack the skeleton the parrot or red so i wonder what's in there we're gonna who open picked this it? Wally, right wally picked this one i think wally picked this one trying to see if he's and these alive. were i'm trying to remember how much these were i think they were like i'm gonna say they were like eight dollars i think i have the receipt in here um, ten dollars. Yeah. So with our DVC discount, they came down to eight, yeah. um, but they were nine ninety nine. So it's kind of a fun thing. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna open this one up. Um, it's about the best, right? You know what's really sad, Heather, is we didn't even make it on Haunted Mansion on this trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was so sad. We were so tired on our Magic Kingdom day. And we were heading there, and we were actually we were supposed to go on it right when we met up with you, but then we got so hot we had to go take a monorail break. So we never made it on Hunt Mansion, and I'm super, super bummed about it. It was one of the fails of the trip because I really wanted to get a good photo because last time we went, we went with Marcus, and he decided to be silly in his ride photo, and so it blocked our whole ride photo. So we Yay. haven't gotten a good on a mansion one yet and I'm super sad and the next time we go Wally's not gonna be with us and I legit have thought about planning a trip to go back just so we can ride the haunted mansion and get a photo with all right so let's open this one up I really love all of these so I think I'm great with any of them I think I'd like to get red maybe the most but let's see which one it is I red would be cool It's red. Ah. That's so cool. So Wally carries the good luck. He the does. Good luck, oh my gosh. <gasps> Wally's waking up from his nap. Hi, Hi buddy. Baby. Look at who we got. Who we got we red. Got? Oh. Look at. Here you can come Here's Mr. Nap hair. Oh, that's some good that's nap. That's good nap hair. hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at who we got. We got red. We got red the pirate. She's so cute. Yeah. No. And Heather, I'm so jealous that you got to try one of the new red floats because I really, really wanted one of those. I legit saw that on Instagram the day after we had been in Magic Kingdom and we didn't do park hoppers on this trip. And even though we have annual passes, we could have gone back. Oh, Biggie's excited about yeah. this here. Whole family has arrived. Here's Biggie. Everybody's so excited. Oh, all right. She's significantly bigger than the dog, which I yeah. guess makes sense because the dog would be smaller than a human. Biggie, those are not your toys. They're not for you, honey. 
Okay, so the other one we got, can you please get your head out of the camera? Um, the other one we got was from Splash Mountain. So that was actually how I found these is my mom had just seen the post about the Splash Mountain ones. And she's like, you have to go get these. I want to build a tree house. It'd be so cute. So I went over. The girls were on Splash Mountain at the time. So I went into the gift shop um, and I got the little Splash Mountain character. So you could actually get Br'er Rabbit. Um, he was out separate. So I got Br'er Rabbit. And then we got another mystery one. So this is the Splash Mountain Wishable Mystery, and you can get the um, Rare Fox, Bear, Frog, or Possum. So we kind of want anything besides the Possum. <laughs> but you picked this one. So we'll see. I like felt in these forever to try and you figure it out. One. It's Possum. I could not figure it out. because Calling it now. I feel like it had a hat. So... We'll see. If it's the possum, it'll be fine. But I'm hoping it's fine. What? You don't want it to be the possum either? Biggie doesn't want it to be the possum either. <gasps> it's not the possum. That's the one I really wanted. You want to take it out and show them which one it is? Yay! It's the fox. fox. It's the brown fox. Yay! I really, really wanted the fox. Fox or bear were my top two, but I really wanted the fox. So now we have... Hey, Wally. What does the Brad fox? Rabbit. What does the fox say? What does a fox say? <laughs> you gonna be shy? <laughs> so there's the fox and the bunny. That was so hard. I was like feeling in there. I'm like, I think it has a hat. I think Ari actually picked this one because she said it felt like there was a hat in there. Mm. He's so cute. So we've reached the end of our hour, hun. I know. Okay, we just have a couple more things to unbox, um, but. We do want to announce something really big. So our one year vlog anniversary is coming up on July 16th, I think, which is next what? Wednesday, I believe. Um, so what we are going to do is we're going to do a really big giveaway. So I'm going to go get the giveaway bag okay. to show them what you can win. Meantime, Wally's taking over, it looks like. Wally, did you enjoy Slinky Dog? Yeah. What? Oh, you're going to show them Slinky Dog? What does... What does Slinky Dog say? What's Slinky Dog say? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> he says hold on, but it's actually hang on. Hang on. Here, watch out. I got to show them what they can win. Here, we can. Three. Okay. So I have this really great tote bag from Upon a Star, which is the travel agency company that I work for. Um, so we've got one of those. And then we've got a fun little goodie bag in here with all your travel essentials. So there's a um, luggage tag and a um, no portable no charger, which is the one thing that we no have to take to the park every time we go. It's one thing we absolutely will not travel without. So we've got one of our portable chargers, Whoa. which is a really nice yeah. one. Yeah. So we've got those no goodies. No more, no more. Hey, 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 hey it's not for you. This no, isn't for you. No, 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 no room, room, room. I give them any room rooms this time. And then we also have the coveted rose gold ears. We actually picked these up at the outlets the last time we were down there. So we've got a pair of the rose gold ears. And the orange bird sipper that will have a new straw because somebody enjoyed their uh, drink a little bit too much. So I ordered a cute straw to replace it with. So um, an orange bird sipper as yeah. well. So we'll have the orange bird, the rose gold ears, and then this great tote, pad, tote bag with some travel goodies in it. So if you want to win, the great news is you are already entered once to win just by being on our live and commenting. So if you're watching, make sure you've commented. We will put you in the drawing one time for that. If you go and like this video and leave a comment down below on the video once it's posted, that is another entry. And then we will also have a third, possibly fourth option to enter through our Instagram account. So make sure you follow us on Instagram too. We'll have some options over there for you to enter to win. Um, so make sure you've commented in the chat here today. If you're watching live and then make sure you like and leave a comment on this video to get two entries and like I said we'll have a couple more options to enter to win through Instagram so make sure you're following us over on Instagram as well our Instagram handle is wonderful wonderful world underscore of underscore Walter so make sure you're following us over there 
So contest is, open to U.S. residents only. Yeah, if you're international and you win, um, we would have to charge you for shipping. Yeah. So we're just going to do this well, one. For unless you're coming to the Disney Park. Unless Parks you're coming to Disney Park, we'll just ship it to the hotel we can for ship you. Ship it to the hotel for you. So, all right. So we have two more things to unbox, and then we're going to say goodbye. So we got some fun pins on this trip. I was super excited about this one. I don't even know if Mark knows that I got this one. Um, this is Disney mascots and it's got all the different parks and they all have these fun little mascots. I think they do these, um, for the March madness that they do every year. And these just look like so much fun. So there are, I think there's five pins in here. Yes, there's five pins in here. So these pin packs, this one was $28. Um, I think with the discount, it takes another 20% off. Yeah. Um, so let's see. So 22, 22, 39. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Before ten. Oh, oh, you woke up from a nap. You were kind of quabby. You want to go with daddy, buddy? Do you yeah. want to open this up with me? You want to open it? You want to open it? Yeah. Okay. Let me get it. I know I scratched you on your chin. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see what's in here, bud. Let's see. You want to take one out and show the camera? Oh, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Okay, okay. We got the flying elephants from Storybook Circus. Mm -hmm. That one's pretty cute. Room room. <gasps> Did we get a vroom vroom? Yeah. We got the test track drive. That one's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What else do we get? Oh, this one's cool. Main Street Electricity. That one's really cool. That's cool. With Elliot. Are you, are you, is that, yeah, that's, I think so, yeah. I think that's what you're yep. yep. And we got, ooh, the Soarin' Sky Gliders. That that's one's pretty set. fun. And you picked this out? I picked it. Come on. You need to rescind my comment. The suspense is, oh, this is perfect. Yeah? Yes. It's the fantasy land yeah. fighting seven. It's the seven dwarfs. Oh my from gosh. The so you did buy a so seven dwarfs pin. So we did get a seven pin. dwarfs pin. That's so fun. Me went on seven dwarfs. Yeah, you went on seven dwarfs, didn't you? Those are super fun. That's a really that fun is, pin pack. That's a fun pin pack. Okay, so we got one other pin pack too. I gotta try and find it here. <laughs> Then one of these back. It wasn't in this bag. Yeah. Where is it at, Wally? One of me. Oh my god. Here it is. I oh my god. Me. Mickey Mouse. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Okay, so this one is, um, I think it's the best friends. I don't know. Yeah, this is like the best friends pack. Um, I don't know why it doesn't tell you what it is, but. They're all like pals. pals. So there's 16 different pal. 16 different designs. And this one was $27.99 as well. So let's open this one up and see what we got. Yeah. Oh, I can't get this one open. Okay, hold on. Did you say? Great. Oh, I need some of Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh. Stand up. Okay, you want to take them out and see who we got in there? Who did we get? Okay, we got. Oh, I was hoping we would get this one. We got Oliver and Company. So it's got whew, Dodger and Oliver, Wally, <laughs> Biggie. <laughs> so we got Oliver and Dodger. And we got, ooh, we got Mulan and Mushu. Do you mind, Bagheera? Mulan and Mushu. Thanks for joining us. And hold on. Oh, this one is um, Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket. Who's this one, Wally? Are you trying to show the camera? Yeah. Aw, I think this one might have to go to one of our friends. There's Lilo and Stitch. It's pretty cute. And oh, hi, Russ. 
Oh, thanks so much. Well, Russ, the good news is by popping in and saying hi, you're entered into our one year vlog anniversary giveaway. Yep. Yeah, Wally wants to eat that. And then the last one we got is Mike and Sully from oh, Monster Z. Yummy, yummy. So those are really fun. I think Wally wants to eat all the candy. I've been, he has had to wait to open all the stuff up. Thank you. Here, if you want to, do you want one of these suckers? Mommy told you you could have one. What are you doing? Do you want one of these? Yeah. Yeah? These are in the Whoa, those are pretty cool. That is pretty cool. They're unicorn pops. Look how pretty those are. <laughs> these are kind of nice because there's like five in there. Let me see how many. Oh, yeah, five. Two, like, what were those? Like seven, eight bucks? No, there's like six in here. So six suckers for seven or eight bucks. Yeah, that versus. was the best deal because you can get the like big round Mickey suckers, but they're kind of annoying because I mean your kid really can't eat that whole sucker and they're yeah. really messy. And I just really liked these, um, especially for a toddler, like he can eat it um, and it's not too messy. Oh my gosh, he like bites off suckers and it just makes my teeth hurt. Um, Biggie, I think would like a sucker too. Yeah. Is this, are you telling us it's dinner time? I think it's dinner time. I think Biggie's ready to eat. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was fun. Um, let us know if you liked us doing a debrief on our trip. We will have no, new trip vlogs no, posted every Saturday. No, <laughs> Biggie's chasing Wally with a sucker now. Um, so we'll be posting our trip vlogs every Saturday um, for the next numerous weeks yeah. um, and we've got a lot of other really fun stuff coming up too so we're switching up our publishing schedule and doing wednesdays or thursdays and saturdays so watch for that and we'll have another live next wednesday to announce the giveaway winner so thank you guys for watching um we're really happy to have you guys here and it's been really fun to go on this adventure and start our vlogging yeah channel yeah. so it's a wonderful world of walter we love you just the way you are. Bye. bye. Molly, can you say bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs>